Good morning, friends. Today, I want to go ahead and start with a map. As usual, if you would like to see a bigger version of this, because I understand this is very, very small on the on the phone screen, uh, you can pop over to my Instagram. But uh, here are some of the points of interest today. So the latest news is that Russia is preparing a massive offensive into Ukraine's uh, southeast and central east, which basically puts them right in my parents' backyard. And uh, apparently there is a very large convoy of uh, military equipment uh, right now traveling to the Donetsk-Luhansk region. So on the map, what I marked are Zaporizhia, where my parents live, uh, Arekhova, where uh, battles are taking place right now. This is in Zaporizhia region. Uh, north of Zaporizhia is the city of Dnipro, formerly known as Dnipropetrovsk. That is an hour and a half drive, so really close. That supposedly is the next big target uh, of the Russian invasion. And then over to the east, so closer to the top, we have the city of Kramatorsk, uh, which is where the train station full of civilians has been bombed. And uh, at this time, 50 are confirmed dead. And then to the south by the Sea of Azov is, of course, the besieged uh, city of Mariupol, which is still suffering terribly. Uh, where people are basically starving to death. Uh, people are starting to make out sometimes on foot to the town of Berdyansk and then to uh, Zaporizhia, but who knows how long that will be possible. Um, I did send an email to my father asking him about uh, the supposed advance at Dnipro. Um, to see whether they heard something that we haven't heard yet. So I'm still waiting for an answer for that. A friend of mine also sent me sad news of the death of uh, uh, Alexander Zubko. He was a remarkable man. Uh, he was a, a champion athlete, a mayor, fought in the War of 2014, and was killed in the Battle of Bucha on March 31st this year. He was 55 years old. Sad loss for us. Thank you for watching.